Hello everyone, welcome to Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. It's good to be back in front of you guys again for a video. Uh, people who are uh, regularly seeing our videos would have realized that uh, there was no videos for a week. The reason is both um, myself and Ashish had gone to take part in the Indian Sudoku and Puzzle Championship that was conducted uh, last weekend uh, in Mumbai. We had to travel to a different city. Uh, I mean, myself from a different city and Ashish from a different city. Uh, eventually, it was good to catch up with uh, uh, Ashish and many our many of our other puzzle friends from uh, across India. It was a fun-filled two days. So I am going to do a video on a Sudoku that was present in round three of the competition of Indian Sudoku Championship. Uh, the puzzle and Sudoku quality were fantastic, guys. And uh, if you are looking to purchase the content, they usually will be available for sale uh, shortly. Uh, I can give you the email id of the contact person you can mail him and usually they will be available for a marginal price so do uh, try to purchase it if you are uh, really interested in giving the uh, competition level sudokus and puzzles so uh, coming back to today's video uh, this is an arrow thermo sudoku and this was the highest pointer in the competition uh, i mean to be frank this was the highest pointer across any Indian Sudoku championship I have ever been to. This was a massive 170 pointer Sudoku. Uh, the round 3 was for 90 minutes and this Sudoku was like uh, higher, by, higher by 60 points I think uh, than the rest of the Sudokus. 170 pointer. The moment I saw this in the IV and the points, uh, I got scared of it. You know, uh, because the reason is I've given uh, these uh, type of Sudokus in the past and I've never seen them to have uh, clean logic, you know. You need to kind of hit and trial your way and I didn't uh, much enjoy about it. It, it is always uh, like you get it or you don't. So I just thought let's not go for this Sudoku and do the rest. I was almost successful in my, uh, you know, uh, what I intended to do but I fell one Sudoku short. Uh, right so i didn't touch this one apart from this i fell one sudoku shot too so but after the competition i gave the sudoku and oh my god this had one of the best logics you would ever see in any sudoku i really enjoyed the uh, sudoku it was uh, having a really clean logical solve path so i'm going to solve it now and before uh, i start solving i thank amit uh, for giving me the permission to make a video on a competition sudoku and to madhav sankaranarayanan also for giving me a permission and for creating this beautiful sudoku and for contributing sudokus to the competition thanks amit thank you madhav uh, the link to solve the sudoku is in the uh, description of the video so please do give it a try and you can come and watch the video let's move to the rules now uh, classic rules apply each row each column and 3 by 3 box in the grid has digits 1 to 9 without any repetitions. So as usual standard classic rules. Apart from that, you can see uh, there are 12 arrows in the grid. Okay, I won't put it this way. Let's say there are 12 shapes in the grid. I'm just going to highlight them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. There are 12 shapes in the grid. Exactly half of these 12 shapes, that means 6 shapes or arrows and 6 shape, shapes or thermos. Now what are the rules of arrows? So let's assume that this shape here is an arrow. This means that the sum of the digits along the arrow stem will be equal to the digit in the circle. And digits may repeat along an arrow. There is no restriction on that as long as Sudoku rules are not violated. And if it's a thermo, digits strictly increase starting from this round bulb here and keep on increasing until they reach the end of the thermometer. So these are the rules. It's up to the solver to determine which is which. At the start, you have no idea which one is which, but you only know exactly half the shapes or arrows and half the shapes or thermos. So having known that, let's start this Sudoku. Okay, I'm going to highlight shapes which are uh, thermometers with yellow and uh, arrows with maybe blue right look at this shape this can never be an arrow 
right? Because this is a single-celled arrow, and if you put, let's say, uh, let me just go to Sudoku mode here, right? So let's say we put a five here, then five has to be here, and you know digits don't repeat in boxes. So this is clearly a thermometer. Using the same idea, this is a thermometer, and this is a thermometer, this is a thermometer. So we have deduced four shapes as thermometers. But however, this shape here, the blue one, can't be said as a thermometer yet because digits can repeat here. They are in different boxes. So uh, we should be kind of careful there. Uh, the same applies for this shape as well. They are in different boxes. So it could be a thermo or it could be an arrow. Right. So now let's do a little bit of Sudoku in here. 9 is always restrictive in these kind of Sudokus. So let's look for the 9s. 9 can't be here, 9 can't be here. So 9 is in these four cells. And one funda about this Sudoku is that you can have, you can never have 9 in the middle of a shape, right? Uh, let's say you have a 9 here. Then this is clearly not a thermometer because you need to have a digit which is higher than 9 here. And if it is arrow, Again, you need to have a total greater than 9 because 9 plus something will always be greater than 9. So 9 is never in the middle of a shape. So 9 is in one of these three cells. 9 is not here. So 9 is in these six cells. And uh, this is um, in the middle of a shape. So 9 is not here. Again, these two are in the middle. So it can never be. And by middle, uh, I just mean cells which are not extremes. I mean, this and this are extremes. So these are the middle. So 9 is eliminated from these cells. Okay. Right, 9 can be in any of these cells. Now let's uh, keep looking here. What do we do here? Okay, one more thing you can do here. Look at this arrow shape carefully. Can this be... I said arrow shape, right? Sorry. Look at this shape carefully. Can this be an arrow? There are four cells in the arrow stem. So the minimum sum becomes 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which is equal to 10. So this shape can never be an arrow. So it is going to be a... This shape can never be an arrow. This is going to be a thermometer, right? So let's use yellow there. So we have got five shapes. Now, if you deduce one more shape as thermo, right, that, is, that would really help us in solving the Sudoku. So let's see how we can achieve that. Okay. Uh, if you look carefully here in box four, nine is not here, nine is not here. So nine has three options, right? But can the nine be here? This is already a thermo. Yeah, so the 9 can be here, no issues. And 9 can also be here, in which case this will become a thermometer. So no problem there too. Hmm. Let me think a bit here. If this is a 9, this is clearly a thermometer. Wow, this is a good deduction, guys. You can't have 9 here. Reason is, let me show you, let me write the 9 here. Now, the moment you have 9 here, this becomes a thermometer, right? It cannot be an arrow. Now, where do you put the 8 in box uh, 5? There is no space. 8 can either be here or it can be here, in which case 9 will be forced here. But both of those are ruled out. So 9 is eliminated from this cell. That's a, a nice deduction. So 9 goes in one of these two cells. Either this or this, which means 9 is not here, 9 is not here. So 9 goes here. Excellent. Now look where the 8 goes in this box. 8 is not here. And 8 cannot be in these cells because these are thermometers. So 8 is ruled out from there. Now the options to 8 are this, this, this and this. And you can never have 8 here because clearly it won't be a thermo. And if you have an 8 and it's an arrow, 8 plus 1 plus 2 is already 11. 
So again, eight is not possible here. So only three cells left for eight. Look how uh, logically the Sudoku flows, guys. I was really amazed. I mean, wonderful Sudoku. So the next thing you have to do here is, yeah. Can you have the nine here? Let's say you have nine here in this cell. Uh, let me use a red. Let's use a red color. If nine is here, then where do you put the eight? Eight can't be here because this is a thermometer and eight here would require a nine here. So eight is forced here and this is now an arrow and you can never satisfy an arrow with eight and three stems inside. Clearly this is a contradiction. So which means nine has to be here. Oops, let's use blue color. Okay. And now comes the biggest deduction. The deduction that will really give you a lot of progress in the Sudoku, pure logic. Now I'm going to think if both of these can be arrows. Because look at these shapes, they are really constrained. If I deduce that both of these cannot be arrow shapes, there will at least be one thermo, right? The, the logical deduction is there will at least be one thermo, which means we already have five shapes of thermos and one of the thermometers will be here. So which means the rest of the shapes will be arrows and you get a lot of progress. So can both of these be arrows? That's what we are going to see now. Let's see. Right. If both of these are arrows, what is the minimum sum that can go into these cells? Let's highlight in blue. The minimum sum that can get into these cells is, this is minimum 2 because you have 1 here and this will be minimum 1, 2 and 3. So 2 here gives 2 here, 3 here gives 3 here, 1 here gives 1 here and that will give you 8 here. Now the 8 in box 5 is forced here. So now this shape cannot be an arrow because you got the 8 here and no digit can be put that can satisfy this an arrow. So the moment you assume this as an arrow, this can never be an arrow. And if this is not an arrow, this is going to be a thermo. So we have achieved what we wanted to uh, through this logic. So one of these shapes is clearly a thermometer. Beautiful logic, right? Lovely. I mean, it's very clear and which I don't usually see in arrow thermo sudokus. So now the rest of the shapes are arrows. Let's highlight them. The blues are all arrow shapes that follows instantly. And one of the remaining shapes is arrow and one of the shapes is thermometer. Now look at this shape. Ah, I just de-highlighted that. That is a big arrow. And if you write the minimum sum there, this is minimum one, two, three. This is minimum one, two, right? Which is already equal to a nine. So let's put a nine here. And you have a one, two, three triplet. So three is in one of these cells. This is not a three, that's one and two. Okay. So uh, now in this box, where does the one and two go? They must be in these three cells because you have one, two here and you have one, two here. So one, two in column one must be in these three cells. And remember this yellow shape is a thermometer. One can never go in the end of the thermo. And the moment two is here, this has to be a one, which is clearly not possible. So we get a one, two pair. So this is one, two, this is one, two, right? So now we are getting good progress in the Sudoku and you cannot have one here. So this is a two, this is a one and one in here, one in here. So one of these two cells will be a one and blue shape is an arrow shape. One cannot be in the circle. So one goes here and two is here and two also cannot be in the sh uh, arrow shape because minimum you'll have three plus four, which is seven. So two goes in one of these cells and that gives two in one of these cells. Right? Everything is clear until this point. And now look at this arrow. Ah, look at this shape. I'm sorry guys. Look at this shape. The minimum sum you are going to get from this shape now is, this will be minimum 3 because you have 2 now deduced in these 2 cells. This is minimum 3 and this is minimum 1, 2, 3 which is already adding up to 9. But you can't have the 9 here. Right? So clearly that shape is not an arrow. Awesome. Really beautiful logic guys. I mean, 
kudos to the guys who solved this logically during the contest i uh, discussed with one or two guys who solved this and one of them said he solved it completely uh, logically the other said that he guessed towards the end so but still uh, finishing this is a is quite a really great task and uh, congratulations to them so this shape is now a thermometer let's highlight in yellow and the remaining shape is an arrow so this is arrow now we have deduced all the shapes so clearly this is not an eight now you cannot have eight in these cells so eight goes in one of these two cells all right so this is a thermo so let's use min max logic here minimum two minimum three four let's i mean let me use corners here this is minimum two minimum three minimum four minimum five minimum six and now i'm going to go in the reverse direction this is maximum eight maximum seven maximum six maximum five maximum four notice that these are the range of the uh, digits here and not the exhaustive possibilities okay so what do we do next okay this arrow is minimum seven so you can only have seven or nine here okay uh let me think here right i'm just thinking where does the seven goes in row five you cannot have seven here and you also cannot have seven here because if this is seven then you must have eight or nine here and both are ruled out right so this is not a seven we know that this is a, a thermometer right i'm sorry i have to highlight it yellow so which means seven in row five has only two options these two and clearly these cells can't take a seven because we don't see a seven in their range so now uh, we have a pair in box five this is a seven eight pair and look at this seven if it's seven this will be one two four and if it is eight it is one three four or one two five but three is already here so it will be one two five and in both the cases one and two are in these cells right So this is kind of you know messy here. So I'm just removing the corners. One, two, four, and five is going to be here, right? So where do we continue? That will give us quite a good progress. Ah, nice. Where does the one go in row five? one is not in these two cells due to box reduction because one two pair is already here and one is not in any of these cells so one has only one option so this is one this is two which means this will be one three this is a uh, two excellent now two in row five has only one option you have two already here so this is a two and that means this two is fixed this is a two okay now look where the three goes in row, row five three is not here three is not here three is only here three is forced here and now if you look along row five this thermometer shape has to take four five here this will be five six and this will be four five six nice okay so this is a thermometer and three has only one cell left now three has to go here because if you have three here you must have one or two on the thermo but one and two is already here and now where does the six go six is the highest digit in this box as of now so six goes here and now this becomes a four or a five and you can't have four there so this is five which means this is a one two four and that clearly means this will be a seven excellent excellent really okay so one in row four goes in one of these two cells ah 
I missed something very simple, I think. Nine cannot be in any of these cells because these are all thermometers, uh, arrow ships. Nine can't go here. So, okay, nine can go here, but this means this will also be a nine, which is not possible. So that means this will be a nine. And that eliminates nine here. So nine is in one of these two cells. So these two must add up to nine. It cannot be one eight, cannot be two seven, cannot be four five. So this is three six clearly. And three is here. So that's a six, that's a three. So which means this is a four five or seven. And this will also be four five or seven. Excellent guys. Beautiful Sudoku. Okay, what can go here? Can't be 1, 2, 3, cannot be 7, 8 and 9. So this is 4, 5, 6. Which means this will be, can't be 1 and 2, it has to be lesser. So 3, 4, 5. This is a thermometer shape, right? So you have a 3 here. This is 4, 5, which means this is 5, 6. And now I get a 5, 6 pair. So this is a 4, 8 pair. For the column and 8 here gives me a 4 and an 8 okay now 3 in box 7 has only one cell left 3 goes here and that means 3 in row 8 in one of these two cells obviously 3 cannot be here because that requires 1 there this is 3 this is 5 which means this is 6, this is 5, this is 4. So which means this is 6 and instantly these will be 7 and 8. 7, 8. And now this becomes a 4, 7 pair for the row. So this will be a 4, 7. And you don't have a 4 here. This is 5. This is 8. Wow. And now let's finish this box. 6 and 7. 6 can't be here. So this is 7. This is 6 and 7. So that's 4. That's 7. 4 gives a 4 here. And let's finish this off. This is 7, 9 pair. 7 here. So this is 9 and 7. This will be 4 and 6. Okay. Row 6, if you look at, this will be 5 and 8. You have 8 here. So this is 5. This is 8. So this is a 1, 4. And let's finish off box one. This is eight. This will be a five and a six. So what can help us here? This is not a four. This is not a four. So this is a four. One it goes here. This is two. And now let's look at this column. This is two seven. This is two six. Okay. Okay, look at this is an arrow shape, right? We can have only one, two, three, four here. Two is ruled out, four is ruled out. This is one or three. Which means this will also be one and three. But you can't have three. So that's one, that's one. That's four, that's one. And this one gives me three here, a one here. And this becomes a two, three pair. 4, 6 and 9. So 9 in column 8 has only one option. 9 goes here. And this is a thermometer. So no issues. Sweet. So this is 4, 6. And 4 is here. So that's a 6. Which means that's a 4. That's a 6. So this will be a 4, 5, 7 along the column. This is not a 7. 1, 4, 6, 2, 3, 9. So you need 5, 7, 8 here. This is not a 4, this is not 8, this is not 7. Okay, what am I missing here? Okay, this cell, it's only 3, 5, can't be 2, 6, 8, 1, 4, 7, 9. So this is 3, 5. And now where the 4 goes in this column, only one cell, one in this row, 4 is here. 
and nine in this row has only one cell left nine goes here so this will be a five or a seven for the column and now you have only one cell left for the three three goes here two three six and this is a thermo so this is seven this is five seven gives five here seven here eight here six gives five here six here and two and five so two five two seven what a gorgeous creation i mean words fall short of me one of the best sudokus i've ever solved without doubt my only only uh you can say a kind of repenting is that i didn't try it during the contest but i won't blame myself too much because i pre-decided that i won't touch this sudoku i mean i won't even see this sudoku for that matter i did see it though for a second and it was quite a messy uh thing imagine seeing 12 shapes in the grid and uh you know you kind of get intimidated which adds up to the confusion i i already had so i didn't touch this sudoku in the contest and that's the only thing i repent because i could have easily solved it uh, because post contest i solved it in exactly 15 minutes and 14 seconds i think so i would have got 170 points in 15 minutes which would have been excellent but anyway no issues uh hope you enjoyed this video please do leave a like and a comment under the video and remember to subscribe to the channel we'll see you soon bye bye